Hello and welcome everyone, my name is Asperger and we are back to Ark Survival Evolved, this time around with a video where I want to talk about the changes they did on the taming process on the last patch. Currently, I am taming, once again, it's no news to anyone that the thing that I like to do the most on Ark is to tame things. So currently, and because we have our dino pen somewhat full and we don't really need anything big what we're currently doing right now and this because it was also changed in the last patch we now have dinos up to level 60 wild dinos which means once you tame them at like level 60 they can go up to something like level 90 or even further this one is an argentivis level 60 and it's a beautiful one. It's a beast. Currently, I have always been using Briggs. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say goodbye to Briggs. But it's all fine because he deserves his resting time. I am not gonna unclaim him. You can do that by doing this. Unclaim Briggs. It's funny because I've did this in the past and they don't just fly to freedom. They stay around where you are. And they are somewhat still from your tribe. They just act a little bit more independently. I need probably two or three more primates, so let's get that. This guy has been tamed pretty much all the way up with primate. He ate something maybe like five or six raw meat. Throughout the time, the more I've been playing Ark, I really have concluded that the best way to tame animals is first and foremost do it with one more person especially if you're doing it for a higher level dinosaur it makes things so much more smooth while one gets a primate the other one builds the walls and takes care of the animal if something comes by but either way i don't use the starvation method at all especially if i can bring the dinosaur that i'm trying to tame to our base where I can keep him safe I don't even have to put walls up and I straight away fly to get primate and then start the taming process I don't see any advantage of doing it this video comes somewhat as an update to my previous video about taming tips as well uh, some people have been claiming that for instance there's no difference in using narco berries instead of narcotics with herbivorous dinosaurs I can confirm that I've read somewhere that it makes a difference, but someone else said it doesn't. So, as you can see, my bird's health went down more than halfway through. That is not the correct way to do it. You need to be very specific and very, very careful in every detail when you're trying to tame animals. So, most of the times, you use tranquilizing arrows, right? You're not going to use your fists or the slingshot with rocks against things like T-Rexes or Spinos or even birds. It doesn't make sense and it's more difficult. So what you want to do is each time you shoot an arrow, make a five seconds break in each, in each between shot you do. Why is that? Because once you shoot him with a tranquilizing arrow, it takes time to bring his torpidity up. It acts just pretty much the same as if you were using narcotics when he's already down and you're trying to tame it. As you can see, his torpidity is not going up straight away. You need to wait a couple seconds for it to do the full effect of 40, uh, which is the number I think it increases the torpidity. The same thing happens with arrows, and the reason why you want to do that is when you shoot him, you're not only bringing his torpidity up, you are also bringing his health down. And why does that matter? The more damaged he is, the more injured he is, the more decay you will have in the taming effectiveness when he goes down unconscious. I have proof of that because I've been doing a lot of taming and when you get your animal down and he's at like 90% his health, he, if you feed him the right thing, he pretty much starts at something like 90% uh, effectiveness. If you bring his health down like so, it starts at something like 70 or 80. Now, another thing that I know about the taming effectiveness that was, that was changed recently. If you do things right, and this is almost impossible to do, but I'm just giving you an extreme example. If you have the taming effectiveness at something like 100% at the end of the taming process, 
the stats will go up by something like 50%. So that not only means that his general stats will go up, like the melee damage, that is still affected, but his general level will go up. As you can see over there, near the percentage, uh, in brackets, there's plus 11 level. What that means basically is when this guy is tamed, he's going to be level 71 at the end. Not precisely that number, because I'm pretty sure it will still go a little bit down with one more bite on this raw meat. Hopefully it will not spoil. Yeah, it will not. Maybe it will be even tame right now. There we go! Awesome! So I'm gonna call this guy Briggs 2.0. And I am probably gonna call this guy something else. But you... My little bird, oh, as you can see, level 71. As you can see, this guy, this melee damage uh, went up by something like 150. I remember he had something like 150 when I was stemming him. That changed with, with this process, with the process finished. His food meter also went up. His stamina went up by a little bit. Normally, Argentavi's stamina are very good at level 60. Normally they are at 1,400. I was not that lucky with this one. But oh well, all of the other stats should be better once he is leveled up as much as Briggs. And Briggs was tamed at level 19. So if you take 19 levels out of this guy and add them to this guy, he's going to be a beast compared to what Briggs currently is. I'm not going to ditch Briggs. Briggs is still going to be around to be a mule or to be a backup mount or something of the sort. It's not hard to keep your dinosaurs. Just go around with your T-Rex, with your Spino, and in maybe 10 minutes you have all the food that you need to keep them for one or two more days. The taming effectiveness will always, always decay. And you have no way to prevent that. There is no way you can stop the taming effectiveness to go down. Each time it takes a bite, the effectiveness will go down. What you can do is prevent that it goes down by too much. And you can prevent that by giving him the right food. So prime it for carnivorous dinosaurs and the right berries for herbivorous dinosaurs. Where is Briggs 2.0? We have so many animals right now. He's up there. Jesus, where did you go just to land? Over here. There we go. I love his look, by the way. I love to have a black bird with a black saddle on it. It can go into the shadows and it's perfect to camouflage during the night unless you're carrying a torch like I am right now. It's like a crow. It's gonna be Briggs the Crow. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, this was just a small update into the taming and taming stats considering the last patch. Desu is over there also taming another bird that I think is level 60 as well if I'm not mistaken. So there we go. We are on the process of replacing our dinosaurs for higher level ones. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Asparo Jenny. I hope you have enjoyed this little bit update to Taming. I hope to see you on the next one. Please like, comment and subscribe. Bye bye. Say bye, Briggs. Say bye bye. He doesn't want to say bye bye. Thank you for watching everyone, if you are looking for more, feel free to check these suggestions. As a reminder, if you're looking into buying games, consider using my G2A ref link in the description of this video. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you on the next one, and remember, stay above the waters.